Hey everybody, welcome to the FitFam. I'm Coach RJ and today I'm gonna go over the best and most technically used exercises at a fit body workout. The exercise I wanna go through is called a basic squat. So first, you wanna have your feet shoulder width apart, your toes pointing forward, and what you're gonna do is hinge at the hips. So you're gonna sit your butt back like you're sitting on the toilet or a bench, and you wanna get your knees down so that they're in parallel with your hips. You're gonna come straight up, driving through the hips. If you can't do a full squat, then what you're gonna do is a mini squat. So you're just hinging at the hips, sticking your butt out, and just going down partial of the way. Your goal is to get all the way down eventually, but for now, you're just gonna go partially. If you're feeling dangerous, a quick advancement from the squat is a jump squat. Soft landings on the ground. Before you utilize any of the apparatuses, if the weight is too heavy for you, go lighter, and if you can't go lighter, just do the body weight version first. First apparatus we're gonna use is a kettlebell. So when you're using the kettlebells, you wanna make sure that you're bending your legs and lifting up with your legs so that you don't hurt your back. And it's going straight down to the floor. Straight down to the floor. Using dumbbells, same thing. You wanna step in between them. When you pick them up, you wanna pick them up with your legs, keeping your chest up, back straight, and keeping the dumbbells out to your sides. Next exercise I'm gonna show you is called a stiff-legged deadlift. So this exercise, you actually wanna feel it in the back of your thighs, called your hamstrings. You wanna hinge at your hips again, and you wanna shoot your butt straight back, keeping your shoulders and chest straight, feeling that into your hamstrings. Once you feel that stretch into your hamstrings, that's when you're gonna come up. Stretch into your hamstrings, then come up. Next exercise I'm gonna show you is a lunge. What you're gonna do is you're gonna step forward you're gonna go heel toe on that strike. You're gonna go down until this back knee almost touches the floor. You're gonna go straight up and down. Straight up and down. Other leg, heel toe, straight up and down. A modification for the front lunge is you lunge out and you're just doing partial lunges, okay? Your goal is to get all the way down, but for now, you're just gonna do partial lunges. An advancement from the weighted lunge is you go down and you're doing a jump lunge. Exercise for the upper body is a bent over row. Very similar to the deadlift is that you're gonna bend over so that you have a flat back, slightly bent legs. You're right into your, your stance here. You don't want rounded shoulders. You want your chest up. Pick the weights up and you're just driving your elbows to the sides. Modification to a bent over row. If you can't do the weights that are in front of you, then just go body weight, go through the motions until you can actually use some resistance. Next exercise is a single arm row. You wanna go down into a lunge into this front leg, rest your left hand on to your left leg, get your back flat, chest up, and you're striving to the dumbbell. Dumbbell chest press works the front of your chest. You're gonna find the weights, you're gonna sit between them. You're gonna pick the weights up one at a time, putting them on your thighs, like this. Then you're gonna lay back, making sure there's no other dumbbells or other people around you. You're gonna lay back, tilt the weights up, put your feet on the floor. You're gonna start in this position. Then you're gonna slide your elbows out until you're parallel into a chest press or a push-up position. You're gonna go from here, and you're gonna press all the way up. All the way up. Together, when you're done, turn them like this. Put them down where they were, sit back up. If you can't do a chest press, and what you're gonna do is a modified push-up, okay? So modified push-up, you're on your knees, get your hands shoulder width apart, sinking down, sinking down. Dumbbell reverse fly, the starting position is similar to that of a deadlift or a bent over row. Again, you're hinging at the hip, your back is flat, you're gonna bend down into your legs to pick the weights up. Now here's what you're gonna do. You're actually gonna keep your arms straight as possible, okay? I don't wanna see bending the elbows. I wanna see arms straight, and you're making a T. You're making a T. For this, you wanna go really light with the weights. Again, if you can't use the weights in front of you, simulate the motion with your just your hands until you can go up to the five, eight, or 10 pound dumbbells. Single leg step up on the bench. Ideally, you wanna have your hip and your knee in alignment for a starting position, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put all your weight to your front foot, you're gonna drive up, 
through your thigh. Drive up, through your thigh. The back leg should lightly touch the floor. Lightly touch the floor. The modification for the single leg step up is you're gonna go up, up, down, down. If you can go up and down stairs, you can do this. If you can't do that, you're back to the mini squats. Now I'm gonna show you the alternating step ups. Again, the weight is on the front leg, not on the back leg. You're driving up, shifting your weight to the front leg, light touch on the floor, light touch on the floor. If you can't do that, the modification is up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You can't do that, you're right back to the mini squats. This exercise is called an alley shuffle, so you wanna have your feet and weight evenly distributed between the front and the back foot. You're on the balls of your feet, not on your toes, and you're shuffling your weight evenly between both as if you're cross country skiing. This is how it looks, it's full speed. If you can't do that, it's just step, 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 step as a modification. High knees is supposed to be like you're simulating a sprint. So when you're sprinting, you wanna be propelling yourself forward. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna lean forward and you wanna get your knees high while keeping your chest and shoulders leaning forward. If you can't do it at this pace, then you can just simply march in the spot, driving the knees as high as possible as a modification. These are our cable machines. The weights are all adjusted from 10 pounds all the way down. You wanna try the exercise first at a lighter weight before you go into the heavier weight. But changing the weight, you wanna make sure that you have your hand on top of the machine because sometimes these bars weigh and you're gonna slide the weight out or the pin out and you're gonna put it in and make sure that it's all the way in. First exercise I'm gonna show you is called a straight arm pull down. It works your lats, your back muscles. What you wanna do is you wanna step out. You wanna have a slight tilt onto your chest keeping your arms straight the entire time. It's called a straight arm pull down. Straight arms all the way down. And if you can't do that, the modification is you just go lighter. The seated lat pull down, you can modify in a couple different ways. Number one, if you're gonna go all the way down to the floor, that's how you wanna grab the weight. You're gonna drive it right down. Now the hard part is if you go too light, you're gonna have a hard time getting up. So you wanna rock back, go onto one leg, and then you gotta use the weight of the machine. That's the difficult way. The second way is you wanna get down onto one knee and then drive it in towards your chest. When you're done, you stand up with it and lightly putting the weight down. The next exercise is a tricep extension. This one is different than the straight arm pull down because your arm is actually bent. So tricep extension, you wanna get nice and tight to the machine, elbows at 90, Straight down, straight down, straight down. And if you can't do that for any, any reason, all you gotta do is go lighter. 